it's good to be out and about and able to take some pictures and have some sun on my face. Uh, behind me there you can see uh, the departing storm, Storm Franklin. That's the third named storm we've had here in a week. And then over there in front of me, you may be able to see that there are now clear skies. There's blue there, there's certainly blue up there. And uh, you can see that the, uh, the better weather is now following on behind. You can probably still hear a little bit of wind. It's nothing like what it was. I'd say it's about a force five if, you, uh, if you're used to the Beaufort scale on things. But uh, certainly uh, we're into a changing picture and things are improving quietly. Now it's great to see, great to see the big old oaks like this one have uh, withstood yet another season of storms. And of course, as every time you'll see uh, branches down to some extent and other trees have just uh, not made it. They've not survived the storm. It's so just the natural order of things. This is how the system we live in in this world uh, takes care of removing dead branches, which could rot and be a health risk, I guess, to the rest of the tree or bringing down trees that are coming to the end of their life and feeding the mushrooms and uh, whatever else that needs to be kept going uh, down at ground level as they as they collapse with a bang to the floor what happens sort of i guess the beginning of the season and the end of the season in as we're coming up to spring and also as we're going into autumn we get these storms and they uh, they clean up they blow away what's dead wood and it, it, uh, it departs from uh, the living system, the living part of the environment. goes off to feed other things, of course, whether it's our fires in the house or whether it's the uh, mushrooms, I guess, on the, uh, on the floor down below. Natural part of the process, a necessary part to clear the dead wood. And uh, there's that sort of element in uh, much of the theology of Scripture when it comes to uh, storms blowing against the church would you believe storms blowing against god's people or those who appear to be here's a famous verse in isaiah which goes like this so isaiah 4 uh, 41 verse 16 uh, you will winnow them the wind will pick them up and blow them away and then he turns to the faithful people and he says but you will rejoice in the lord and glory in the holy one of israel well, that, that winnowing process was uh, what they used to do with the grain in those days. We've got a combine harvester these days for that. But it, uh, it thrashes and uh, knocks the wheat about a bit as it's just been cut in the field. And that has the effect of knocking out the good seed and separating it from the chaff. We see a lot of that going on in the church at the moment. There's uh, statistics coming out of America and there's less to a less extent statistics here, but saying the same thing, that the recent COVID epidemic and all the uh, blowing about and knocking around that, that did to folks has had that effect on church attendance and on people uh, walking with God and uh, winnowing. Those who are the wheat, the real stuff, they remain because they've got God in their heart, if you like. But then there's that separation from those that were there for someone else, don't know, could be anything. People they know things they've always done just doing it we've always done it this way uh, could be any, anything that gets people there uh, but there's that separation and it, it, it's, it's painful we don't like to see it we don't like that happening upsets us sad to see people disappear but just as it's necessary for this ecosystem for the trees to be blown down in the gales the dead wood to be separated away and cleared away for the health of the rest of it and for the well-being for the fruitfulness of the tree and so on the vigor. So it is with the Church of God, so it appears, from this verse in Isaiah. There needs to be that winnowing. Now this, this sounds depressing, but actually be encouraged, because it lets us know where we are. It has the effect of strengthening that which remains, as it does with the trees. And God can take care of it, just as the uh, skilled arborist can take care of the tree well there it is strong wind winnowing clearing sad to see strengthening making fruitful and actually in the longer term working for the good of his people and his church and making clear perhaps even to those who see themselves fading away the importance of getting back and getting grafted back in 
Well, there's the word for the week. It's a bit seasonal. I hope it's of help to somebody in some way or other. Have a great week. God bless you all.